everybody. How are you? Today we're going to work once more on part five of our story about Yang. In the last lesson, we learned how to talk about time. Do you still remember how to do it? なんじですか今5時半ですおやすみなさい今何時ですか8時半です8時半 I hope that helped you remember how to ask the time and tell time. In replying to Ima Nanji Deska, we've learned how to reply Jides and Jihandes and J. Jipundes, haven't we? After learning to tell time, we also learned how to say that someone does something as a matter of habit. Let's review this by watching some scenes from the skit. Katou-san's奥さんは毎朝6時に起きます. 太郎さんはいつも8時半頃出かけます。太郎さんはいつも8時半頃出かけます。Remember now how to say that a person customarily does something? Then let's ask Sunihara-san and Mine-san what time they get up and go to bed every day. It's easy to ask this. You already know the pattern, san wa ji ni okimasu. To change this to a question, just change jini to nan jini and add ka at the end. Also, note that here it's better to use their names instead of a word for you. All right, let's try asking Sugihara-san what time she gets up. First, repeat after Kaiho-san. Sugihara-san wa nan jini okimasu ka? You understood the answer, didn't you? She gets up about 6.30. Now, let's ask Minasan the same question. This time, you ask first without waiting for Kaiho-san's help. Go ahead. Minasan wa nanji ni okimasu ka? He says he gets up about 9 o'clock, so he's a pretty late riser. Maybe it's because he goes to bed late at night. Let's ask him what time he goes to bed. You can do it by yourself now, so go ahead. Just as I thought, he stays up fairly late. Now, how about Sugihara-san? Ask her what time she goes to bed. Sugihara-san,は何時に寝ますか? 私は11時頃寝ます。She goes to bed at a reasonably early hour, doesn't she? How about you? What time do you go to bed? In Japanese, And what time do you get up? Well, let's end our review here and go on to today's lesson. But before we get into our first point for today, let's stop and see how it was used in the skit. さて、それでは全国の朝の表情をリレーで見ていただきたいと思います。まずは青森信さんでございます。おはよう。私今何時今7時だよ。え、遅れ。早く早く。ちょっと。加藤さんのうちでは<笑> 
いつも7時ごろ朝ごはんを食べます気をつけて持って行ってはいいただきますみどりさんは毎朝牛乳を飲みます加藤さんは牛乳は飲みません紅茶を飲みます加藤さんは牛乳は飲みません紅茶を飲みます Did you catch some familiar words and phrases there? There are two new words. Gyunyu means milk and kocha means tea. And so this whole thing means Mr. Kato doesn't drink milk, he drinks tea. The new point we want you to learn here is that the negative form of nomimas is nomimasen. What part is different? It'll be easier to see if we enlarge it a little. See? All we've done is change mas to masen. That looks easy enough, doesn't it? Let's examine some of the other verbs we've learned and see how to make them negative. Okimas. Okimasen. Tabemas. Tabemasen. Dekakemas. Dekakemasen. As you can see, the negative of all the verbs here is formed simply by changing the mas ending to masen. This negative form is very frequently used, so fix it firmly in your mind. タバコいかがですか。私タバコは吸いません。ビールいかがですか。いいえ、私ビールは飲みません。あの、これ読みますか。私漫画は読みません。Sengihara san used wa masen about a lot of things. Did you understand what she meant? Tabako wa suimasen. This means I don't smoke. Biru wa nomimasen. This means I don't drink beer. Manga wa yomimasen. This means I don't read comic books. Yasai wa tabemasen. This means this dog doesn't eat vegetables. Ko, ko, ko. I, I, I. Neko. Inu. Now, let's get back to our skit and see how the members of the Kato family get around. Midori san wa jitensha de gakkou e ikimasu. Midori san wa jitensha de gakkou e ikimasu. This means Midori goes to school by bicycle. 